Hey guys, so today I'm playing with the Historical Invasions mod. And basically what I'm going to be doing today is every single time an invasion pops up, I'm going to play as it and then see how far I can get. Hopefully by the end of this, there's like massive empires like all over the map that I've created. I think that'd be pretty cool. Um, I'm not going to play as this guy, obviously. I'm just going to wait until the first one pops up and then I'll get back to you. All right, here we go. So we are here. It actually looks like it took like a month for our special soldiers to get there. So we can actually live as this guy now. Um, I still can't do any like major wars against this guy. Since I don't have the piety or the prestige. I think I'm just going to go for this duchy now because why not? I have the troops so. Looks like immediately I'm going to have to leave this guy and play as this guy. In Scandinavia so that's amazing. Let's play as this guy now. <laughs> Let's start. There we go. There we go. There we go. So basically what I'm going to try to do here is at least create the kingdom of Norway like he did in real life. And then after that, if I'm still playing with this guy, I guess I'll try to push deeper into like Sweden and Denmark, but I'm not too sure I'll have much time to play as this guy. And an update on this guy, it looks like he actually won that war, so good for him. I'm just going to take out all these little guys here now. Here's round two. These two are next. Nice. I'm going to create this duchy here so I can actually create this kingdom when it's time. Here we go. Here we go. And here we go. Sweet. I'm actually surprised that we were able to do it before we had the switch. I'm actually surprised that we were able to create the kingdom here. Especially considering how long we lasted with this guy. We played with this guy for like two years and then left him, so that's cool. I might as well do this, why not? I should have done this at the beginning of the video. I want to put on screen all the possible historical invasions, just so you guys know what's coming next. And it's easier to follow. I'm going to take out this guy. There we go. Looking back at it, I should have probably started as Hungary. Because that's obviously a historical invasion. But it kind of slipped my mind, I guess. I'm going to take this duchy here for this guy. Okay, that sucks. For some reason, this guy, who's my friend, declared war on me for this province here. I guess we aren't that good of friends, I guess. I'm just going to surrender this. It's one province. I don't really care. I'm going to leave this guy soon anyways, so it's like, whatever. What a great friend. This guy just made my wife his concubine. How is this guy my friend? He, de he declares war on me. Takes takes my capital and then takes my wife and somehow he's my friend this is so dumb i'm gonna take this province here just so i can form the yamsva kings or whatever they're called I'm, I'm, I'm sorry if i butchered that there we go and here we go while i wait i might as well just take out all these guys here why not Here it is. Let's go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, obviously, we did amazing with this guy. Um, I don't know what else he's going to do. We let him have a pretty nice power base here, so. I don't think I've ever actually seen this before. 
Somehow this guy has negative renown. I don't even know how that happens. Like, did he like disinherit somebody and he didn't have enough or something? Alright, let's start. There we go. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna suck, but let's go for it. There we go. Nice. Nice. You know what? I'm just going to say it. Um, I'm going to move my capital to Kiev since it's the better province. It's farmlands and it has the same amount of counties that Novgorod has. So it's like literally a direct upgrade. So I'm just going to go for it. Nice. Alright, it's time to leave the Rus and go for this guy. So let's go for him. I'm gonna kill this guy because A, he's my rival, and B, because his realm is massive. So I can really declare war on him. And I also can't declare war on this guy since he has a he has really strong allies. This guy here is doing amazing, by the way. So yeah, I'm just gonna kill this guy. I think while I'm doing that, I'm going to push into this guy here, since he's kind of weak, so let's go for it. Nice. Let's actually start with this guy first. I'm going to create this kingdom here. I don't think I mentioned, but this is pretty cool. I don't know if this is like scripted in the mod, but it looks like the Normandy dynasty actually settled in Normandy. So that's cool. It looks like that guy's death didn't really do much. So I think I'm actually not going to push into this land like, like they did historically. I think I'm just going to keep on pushing into Persia because like it is a mess over here. There we go. And I think I'm going to move my capital here. Because, like, this province is amazing, so. This guy's next. I might as well try to declare on these guys here. I don't think I have much time left, but let's just go for it. Looking back at Norway, it looks like he adopted, um, elective, I've heard it's called, um, Scandinavian elective law, and it looks like he lost, but the dynasty lives on in this guy, who's, like, really good, actually, and it looks like he's actually trying to subjugate Sweden here, so, it looks like the dynasty migrated from Norway to Sweden now, so that's kind of cool. I might as well find a holy order for this guy. And it's time to go to the Fatimid, so let's do it. Let's start with this guy here. Nice. Let's go for this guy now. Tunis is next. Nice. I'm going to take this dodge here next. Easy. I might as well go after this guy. It says that we are outnumbered, but honestly, I don't really care. So let's go for it. This guy's next.
There we go. I might as well just put this guy out of his misery. There we go. It's time for this guy again. I might as well just find this holy order. Honestly, why I wouldn't. Another guy. And funnily enough, it looks like immediately after that war, we're leaving to play as the Cholas. So let's do it. And immediately looking at this guy, he is like garbage. He's an intrigue, which sucks for conquering. He's sinful. His traits are terrible. And when I started off with him, he was actually a level 2 stress. So I don't know how far I'm going to be able to get with him. And we're also allied with these guys here. So I can't even declare war on them. This is probably going to be the toughest one so far. And this has got to be one of the most diverse, like, religion map modes I've ever seen for the Muslims. Like, there's this religion, which is here also. There's, of course, um, Shiites here. Shias here. There's Quranist here. Ibadis here and here. This religion here. This one here. This one here. It's just, like, crazy. Like, look at that. And of course, this one here, obviously, also. Let's start by taking off Sri Lanka here. There we go. Okay, it looks like immediately I'm going to leave this guy. I don't even know how long we played with him, like six, seven years maybe. So now we go all the way over here to the steps. So let's go. All right, let's start. <laughs> nice. And so immediately I have to leave this guy. It's been less than a year that I played with that guy. And now we have to try to create the HRE. And she's already 51. All right, I guess we'll try. Let's start by taking Lorraine from this guy, and then we'll see where we can get. Nice. We can't do it yet, apparently. Let's see what else we need. We need, like, I don't know, like 20 more provinces, and we'll get it. That sucks. It looks like we just need seven more provinces. I don't know why there's two different options here for the same thing. I'm gonna go for this one since it's easier. All I really have to do is take out a pagan. So let's do it, I guess. Sweet. And now I should just have to seek indulgences. I'm one point away. Let me get a spot that's really good in learning. Here we go. Do that. And... Here we go. Nice. Luckily, we were able to form the HRE. Now it's time for one of those interesting uprisings in the entire mod. I'm hoping that we play as this guy for like... 15 years because I'm sure that we'll be able to create a new Zoroastrian Empire if we have that much time but let's start let's start with this guy since he holds one of my holy sites that was quick there we go nice it looks like somehow this invasion started without me like i didn't, I didn't get a pop-up or anything i think i'm just gonna leave it um i don't know when it started so it could have started like you know five years ago and i i wouldn't have noticed so i'm just gonna continue with this guy this duchy's next 
It looks like my own creation is trying to kill me here. That's unfortunate. And I can't really get a strong alley, it looks like, either. Since I'm, you know, the only one of my kind, you know, my faith. I think it would be okay. He doesn't have any special troops anymore. It looks like he's allied to, like, literally only his vassals. Yeah, it's definitely going to be okay. Here's one war done. Here's another. Let's do this here. I don't see why I wouldn't. He's next. Let's go for this guy. Nice. These guys up here are next. I think after this guy, I'm going to play one more invasion, and then I'm going to end it here. But for now, let's go after these little guys here. There we go. And in the middle of those wars, I got infirm. So I don't think we're long for this world. Nice. It looks like the Fatim has just migrated to Egypt. I'm going to take advantage of this and take this duchy here. Sweet. I think I'm going to take a break from conquering for a little bit because I don't want my country to implode before I die. So I might as well go for these three. Well, maybe not that guy. These two. There we go. I think I'm going to take Armenia here next. Okay, so I wasn't able to get all the land I wanted. Okay, this guy's like amazing. He's a Viking. He's a Polish Viking. So apparently I'm going to have to unite Poland as a Polish Viking. Okay, I, I guess we'll try. I mean, why not? This guy's first up. There we go. This guy's next. Nice. Let's try to take this duchy away from Great Moravia here. There we go. And I think I'm just going to say screw it and convert to Catholicism because... Being Norse is on the out, so I'm just going to do it. There we go. I think I'm going to try to brave it out here. And declare war against the Kievan Rus. And take this duchy here. So let's go for it. There we go. These guys are next. Finally. This is a first. So it looks like the Kingdom of the Isles united with England here. This is actually super cool. I've never seen this before. I think I'm going to declare this final war and then I'm going to end it there. There we go. So here we are. Obviously the borders for this kingdom aren't perfect by any means. <laughs> it's pretty disgusting the borders I've made actually. Um, looking at the world. It's actually super interesting. 
in a lot of ways. Obviously, this is interesting. Um, it looks like the dynasty that took over Norway is still there. And of course, the dynasty that we were playing is still on the Swedish throne. So that's cool. The HRE still exists. The Fatimids migrated, of course, and they're doing amazing. They're actually trying to take a Jaws here. So that's cool. These guys are doing good. These guys are actually in the process of dying. So that sucks for them. Um, the Cholas are are gone. <laughs> they are no more. So that sucks for them. The Rus are doing pretty good. I know that they did have some succession struggles. And their capital is now... Instead of being in Kiev, it's... In this province here. Which is not the best province. So that sucks for them. This guy's doing good. I think the most interesting thing to look at is the religious map mode. So obviously religions are pretty dynamic with this mod. Catholicism has spread to Hungary. Um, this dynasty here that usually rules over like this half of Hungary at the beginning of the game. Like did a holy war for it and took it over. Some of the Bulgarians are still Tangri after like, I don't know. Almost a hundred years, so that's cool. There are a ton of Shiites in this world. Orthodoxy spread, of course, from that one event. That's interesting. It looks like somehow this faith here spread all the way up here somehow. I don't know how that happened, but that's kind of cool. But yeah, if you guys have any other ideas for videos, uh, just let me know. And thank you for watching.